Hello, Zachary here. Guess what? I've got a brand new t-shirt in the merch store, ready for you to buy. And of course, to support this channel. And as a little bonus, you got Z3DP crew on the back with, of course, the three as in 3D prints. Get yours today in the merch store with also maybe some other things you can buy. Thank you. Aluminum extrusions, high precision, 32 bit silent controller board, resume print function, filament run out sensor, rapid heating, and that for a very low price. The Elegoo Neptune 2. Getting the latest news and updates right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing. With tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related, you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest news and updates right in your YouTube alerts. And if you want to have an inside scoop before YouTube, then please check me on Twitter, Zachary underscore Bergen. And thanks for being here. Well, this news from Elegu came very rapid and on a very short notice. I just heard it today, this morning, when I was going through my tweets, I saw this message from Elegu about the Neptune 2. Well, I was going through the World Wide Web about some previous FDM 3D printers from Elegu. There was already an Indiegogo Kickstarter campaign-like thing four years, no, five years ago, but we already know the FDM 3D printer from Elegu, the Neptune. The Neptune is a very basic 3D printer with some things that I saw similar, like the Anycubic Omega S. But today I'm going to talk about the Neptune 2 of Elegoo. But before I'm going to continue with this video, a little disclaimer. All of the specs and the pictures I share in this video are from the Elegoo store on Amazon. Now that is out of the way, let's get into the Neptune 2 from Elegoo. Well, let's start with the exterior. Well, if you are looking at this 3D printer from Elegoo, it's a i3 style 3D printer that is already famous. So the base of this 3D printer is a H shaped made out of 3030 aluminum extrusions with on the left side a box where the controller board is housed. And on the right side there, there is a LCD color touchscreen. The Z frame is made out of two smooth 2040 and one 2020 aluminum extrusion, which is quite normal. On the back side, we find a 350 watts power supply unit. Because of this power supply unit being on the back side of the Z-axis frame, there is only one Z-axis lead screw mounted on the opposite side and the placing of this Z lead screw is very typical for these kind of machines. The print bed. The print bed is a heated bed with a decent 3030 aluminum extrusion where the bed is rolling over with the V-slot rollers. The heat bed is a 250 watt heat bed and it heats up 100 degrees Celsius within 3 minutes. Just like some others, this one has a filament spool holder on the top of the machine at a 45 degree angle. The carriage is looking very nicely designed with a very little planet on the fan shroud. Very thoughtful. The hot end itself, 
I'm not sure which kind of hot end is installed on this machine, but I guess some standard Mark 8 hot end, which is similar like the Creality Ender 3 or the Creality Ender 3 Pro has. This 3D printer is not a direct drive, but a Bowden tube extruder. This extruder head looks like it is made out of plastic instead of aluminum or metal. So let's take a look to the interior and the specs of the Neptune 2 from Elegoo. Let's start with the heart of this machine, the controller board. The controller board is a 32-bit board with the TMC2225 silent stepper drivers for silent printing. And because of the 32-bit board, they have these awesome features like power resume function, filament run out sensor, but also if your print is done and the nozzle temperature is going below the 50 degrees Celsius, then this board shut off the fans to save power. The controller board has a micro SD card reader and a USB type B connector on the front side. This printer comes with a very nice looking LCD touchscreen with a model preview. The user interface supports eight different kind of languages. Oh, I didn't mention this, but this 3D printer has a printing volume of 220 times 220 times 250 millimeters. The printing speed of this 3D printer, as advertised on the Amazon webpage, the printing speed is 180 millimeters per second, but recommended is between the 30 and the 60 millimeters per second. So why 180 millimeters per second when dropping to 60 millimeters per second? For these kind of machines, 60 or maybe 80 millimeters per second are the nice running speeds of printing your models on those printers. However, they stayed at 100 80 millimeters per second. So if you are going to buy this one, please feel free to try 180 millimeters per second. The maximum nozzle temperature is 260 degrees Celsius. And for the heat bed, can you guess it? Well, that is 100 degrees Celsius. Like mentioned earlier in the video, that the heating up temperature for 100 degrees Celsius is reached within the three minutes. You guessed it right. So with these temperatures, you can print PLA, PTEG, ABS, wood, TPU, and even marble. I don't know which kind of filament that, that is, but hey, I want to try everything within the three printing, of course, even resin printing. That's not a hint. Hint, hint, hint. So the prices and the links. This was announced by Elegu on Twitter today. And shortly after I saw some other people posting some teasing pictures as well on Twitter. Very nice. So you can guess that on Twitter, but also on YouTube, videos and other things are going to be posted pretty soon. In the tweet of Elegoo, the price was going to be around the $160. And that is a very good deal. Consider the specs of this machine. The machine is not on the market yet but there are already some links which you can find in the description of this video. So to wrap up this video, I always do these kind of videos on Friday and sometimes there are announcements on a very short notice before the Friday comes. But like one of today, there is a great 3D printer coming up from Elegoo. You can get a decent printer for the price. I think that this one is the Elegoo version of the Coriality Ender 3 version 2, but then cheaper. This video is supported by these Patreon supporters. Tony, Shannon, Lawyer Moses, and Michael. Thank you for your awesome support. You can also support this channel by checking the 
Patreon link in the description of this video. So if you're still watching this video, thank you, you are amazing. On the end card, there's some recommended videos worth watching. And while you're out there, check out the merch in the merch store to support this channel as well. Please like this video, share this video with other people, and hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Zachary, 3D prints. Bye bye. Uh, um, uh, toch even wat dingen te gaan controleren. Let's do it again. Well, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the exterior. Nope. Print can still be saved with running with the TMC 2225 silent step track. If you made it this far, what? No.